Hi, this is Dr. Das here. I am presenting a video of tympanoplasty. Tympanoplasty is a surgery to repair a perforation in the eardrum at the same time inspecting the middle ear structures. Now this is the ear canal which has been infiltrated with xylocaine and adrenaline and then the canal incisions are given. The incision started from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock position about 5 mm away from the tympanic membrane. Then two vertical incisions, one at 6 o'clock is connected to the first incision and the other at 12 o'clock. This flap is gently elevated from the bone. And then through a postural incision, a temporalis fascia graft is harvested and the external artery canal is opened. You can see the flaps here. Now this tympanometal flap is extended towards superior aspect to expose the uh, malleus and the tympanometal flap elevation is carried downwards to encompass the whole of the eardrum except an attachment anteriorly. Once the eardrum is elevated over the handle of the malleus, the handle of the malleus is denuded of all the tissues. Care must be taken not to leave any epithelium onto the handle of the malleus. Once the whole of handle of the malleus is exposed, it is inspected, the handle is moved and the ossicular chain, that is the increased epithelial joint. Now the ossicular chain movement is confirmed. The handle of the malleus in this case is touching the promontory, hence a malleus nipper is used to nip a part of the handle of the malleus, tip of the handle of the malleus. And I usually, if the x-ray shows a sclerosis of the mastoid bone, I usually do a mastoid antrotomy. Mind you, this is not a cortical mastoidectomy, it is just to enter the mastoid antrum to check uh, the patency of the editus by uh, flushing saline through this and observing the saline coming out from the middle ear. Now the mastoid antrum has been reached and there's a small polyp so I'm taking out the polyp from the mastoid antrum and then a uh, saline wash is given and we confirm the saline flow from the mastoid antrum into the middle ear. Once again the ossicular chain mobility is checked, it is mobile and that is the stapedius tendon. A temporalis fascia graft which has been harvested before. A slit is given at 12 o'clock position and then the graft is introduced into the middle ear. Now this slit is important because I am exteriorizing the handle of the malleus. This technique is to ensure that the graft will not move from its place. Now you can see the handle of the malleus which is outside and then the tympanometal flap is reposited onto the graft and then I usually lift the tympanometal flap back and then insert gel form which is soaked in antibiotic solution into the middle ear. This ensures a complete sandwich of the graft between the gel form inside and the gel form which will be placed in the external artery canal thereby further reducing the chances of graft lateralization. Now the graft along with the tympanometal flap is deposited back. The graft placement is checked and the tympanometal flaps are meticulously deposited back to its normal position. Once that is done, the external artery canal is filled with gel foam. This gel foam is soaked partly in antibiotic and some of the gel foam is soaked in antibiotic ointment as well. The whole of the external artery canal is filled up to the tympanometal flap area. Once that is done, the pinna is reposited back and through the external artery canal the skin of the external artery canal is deposited properly and the 
canal is filled with gel form with antibiotic ointment. And then the post auricular wood is sutured in layers. The results of this surgery are very good. Uh, if it is done with the sandwich technique, underlay technique. Thank you.